Hello out there. My name is Lexi the Rap Dad, creator of Friendly Fables books, and I'd like to read you a story. It's called How to Bake a Monster Cake. And it goes like this. There once was a boy who wanted to cook, so he read every recipe in his mom's big book. He finally found one for the perfect cake. The only problem, he was too small to bake. His mom said, no problem, and got him a chair so he could mix his recipe on the counter up there. His mom helped him whip up a yummy batter. Then the boy took a lick and said, something's the matter. He checked the recipe and found he'd missed some special parts. The cake batter needed boogers and one of Zoe's dog farts. Oh. It also needed a creepy bug from the basement floor and a slimy worm from a red apple's core. When mom tasted it, she let out a hiss. Yuck, she said. What kind of cake is this? It's for my friend the monster, the boy replied. It's called Booger Batter Bliss. Mom smiled and said, should his name be on the cake? Yes, please, said the boy. That would be great. His name is Gobbly Goo. He's big and purple and hairy, but he's my best monster friend and not in the least bit scary. Then the boy began to sing a song. And it goes like this. We're going to bake a monster cake. Boogers and bugs will make it great. Hurry up, we can't be late for a birthday bash monster date. They poured the disgusting batter into a pan, then popped it in the oven instead of a trash can. When it came out, the boy wrote, For you, gobbly goo, hope you like what we made for you. Then mom, with a smile, gave him the cake, and off he went on his imaginary play date. The boy went downstairs into a secret room through the closets hidden behind shovels and brooms. It was just big enough to hold a birthday bash along with 10 friendly monsters who made it a smash. The boy smiled and shouted, happy birthday gobbledygoo. Thanks, his monster friend replied. That's very nice of you. <gasps> Booger batter bliss, that's my favorite cake. I love the crunchy bugs. Mmm, and the worms taste great. I'm glad you like it, said the boy proudly. I really love to cook. He thought for a moment and added, maybe next time I'll make you booger, bacon, gook. Ah! The end. Thanks for watching. Friendly fables, sit back and learn with me.